Guys, this is Zach here. I tried to make a video for you guys, and it failed. So I'm gonna redo it. Here's on this crate. Uh, oh yeah, I got glasses too. Let me go on the light. You can see me clearly. I got my glasses. They're nice. They're black right here. But on the inside, they're white. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Shouldn't be playing a game with my glasses. If I need glasses. I need to make a new game, get rid of a game and make a new one. Less laggy too if it's an only old world. I'm going to show you how to make an elevator that can shoot at least mm, one, two, three stories. A three story building elevator. It may damage you in survival, like by a half a heart or a heart if you go use it, but... It's okay for creative because you can make it small as well. It's very small too. It'll only take like a portion of the wall up. Let me get rid of this. Delete. World. Yes. The other ones I'll play a game on later. Um, where was it? That one I don't know what it is. That one I kind of know what those are. This one I do know. This one I already did everything almost. I just haven't found a portal and beat the dragon yet. Um create a new random world and thanks for watching just thanks for watching because eh, I'm a beginner and I suck at this I hope this um, uh, elevator thing gives me more views more subscribers too so. okay I know I'm old world and yeah, that's all we need. I don't know which color will go nice with this to help out to see it. Oops. Draw. Colors. Red, maybe? kind of better. It works, I guess. See? Got my new glasses. I wish I could keep that up because then I can, act, then you guys can actually see me. But I can't. Here we go. You guys saw my face. Good enough. Here we go. I better want to stop recording. I'm trying to make it so when you guys don't hear my hand dragging across the mic, which is kind of hard to do, literally. So I'm going to have to play weird, but I'm going to teach you how to make an elevator. Let me find a flat surface to... No, let me find a surface for my back that's nice. As long as I'm in my room right now, just relax. I'm doing videos. Well, a video, because... I wish I could move the control so I don't have to put my finger near the um uh, the mic guys, but I don't think I'm able to. Oh, the leg is bad. Oh, guys, I know that. That is freaking awesome. I would so build something right here in one of my videos. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna build something, and then no, I'm gonna show you what it looks like, and then I'm gonna video of how I built it. Yeah, that's what I'll do for my channel. Wait, guys, is there a cave? Oh, because it's not an old world. Uh, never mind, I failed in the old world. Oh, look at this. They have like a little thing right here. A little divot in the world. This is where gonna this is where I'm going to build the elevator. Right above all this. You guys are able to see it. I'm gonna have to burn some trees, guys. Sorry. Uh here. Flint. Steel. Got it. Okay. Now I'm gonna cut a, pro a portion of these out so then I'll burn all the trees in the game. Well that's gonna go downhill. Anything over there? No, good. Anything over here? 
Uh, I guess it's okay, cause there's not no there's no trees around it that are gonna start on fire, so we're good. That's a tree across from us. Nope. No trees are across from us, guys. We can do this. Here we go. Now. That's burning. Throw those out. We're going to make an elevator. Metal is quite my favorite thing to use. Wait, but do they have metal little plates? I believe they do. Oh, they don't. Ah, that sucks. Oh, it's okay, I guess. I need glass. You can see what we're doing. I'm going to need to go here, like always. If you don't, if you don't go to the sword. You usually don't, uh, like, usually don't get to um uh, get the stuff you need. Quite frankly, we're going to take a baton. Use that. We're going to need a piston. We're going to need, uh, why do we keep on saying that? If you want to, eh, I'll do that later. I'll add lights later onto it. And what else do we need? Oh yeah, we're going to need a little plate that's going to be able to slide underneath you when your elevator is working, because if you have a plate, you'll be able to stop, because you're going to be able to go up to two levels with this little um, uh, elevator. Well, three levels, actually. You're able to go to three levels with this elevator trick I made. And this is not copyright either. I completely made this on my own by messing around. I know other traps too that are douchey to people, but eh, they get pissed off. You just look at it like, eh, hey, you shouldn't fall for it then. If you're skilled in Minecraft, then you know there's people that can trap you with a bunch of traps or kill you with certain things. So you need to learn the hard way, which sucks to learn the hard way, because... Yeah, you get your butt kicked left and right. Now, before I keep on rambling on like a madman, we're going to need some new things, like... Do I need this? Oh, I don't need those. I remember what I forgot. Okay. We're going to go in here. This is the original. I changed the um, settings to the original so some people will like it more. Oh, and by the way, this is version... This is the highest version in Pocket Edition. Well, Pocket Edition. This, this glitch that I made for the elevator can work on computer. It can work on every single system for minecraft if you have the items that are down there right now right here where the items are right here if you have all those items you're good you don't need the glass if you don't need it well you don't need the glass if you want because i'm just doing this above so you can see what it looks like underneath wait can you even set things on glass like this yes can i set this on glass then could i set a piston I have to get all this checked out so that I don't set something down I can't. Button. That's a confirmed yes. Steel. Yes, I can, guys. We are ready. We are ready to cook. Hold on, let me get rid of this leg. Hip, please. This is, this is still burning. No. Well, did a good job of clearing it without burning the other trees down. This would be really cool to have for a seed because I spawned somewhere over there. And look at this place. You can build a. Uh, uh, uh. Oops. You can build something. There's so much. Look, there's so much wall. There's even a cave. Right here. Bruh. That is awesome. You could build a house out of this. Cause look at this. This is huge. You could turn this whole thing into a long house. Which I should do later on. But I'm not going to. So let's build this elevator. We're going to need a lot of glass. Not too much. Maybe... I'm hoping that's enough room, because 
I did say it takes a little bit of a slot in the beginning, but it can take up a lot more than you actually think. Maybe if I got rid of this water, there wouldn't be any more lag. Hip-hip! It's taking forever. Yes, last leg. Yeah. Doesn't help that I'm make, be making a big giant elevator in the air. Well, it's not too giant, but. I'm just adding a lot of glass so then there's a lot of room to start building at, so. Where did I last? Okay, probably on this side I'm not going to need a lot of room. But we're going to use metal. And we're going to use piston. You're going to need a sticky piston for this. This is a creative slash thing to make. And you're going to add this. Because remember, when you're in slime blocks, look what it does to you. Watch, just... So when I bounce, that's me going down on it. But if it's coming up at me, it's going to make me bounce. So we're going to use this as a ways of a elevator that can shoot you up to three stories. And if you don't believe me, then fine. Then don't watch this video and get an amazing elevator that actually works. So you have to follow me. I'm going to take this. This is one step right here. Pause this video if you want, or if you want to make this part, okay? But I'm going to the next part. Then you're going to have to add redstone. If you can see that, there's redstone right there, three pieces. You're going to need to add this, but you don't want the, um, uh, you don't want the slime touching the block. So, oops, never mind, don't add it. Redo what I just said. Actually, you have to go back one because of the problem of an issue where if you're adding a button, you're going to need the room because you don't want the button. Oops. Okay, that will work, but you don't want the button to actually touch the slime block when it's going straight up. That would be like your worst nightmare because then it would just rip the block out of thin air for no reason. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. So we have a fair amount right now. Oh, at night. It's in the night. Night is falling too quick. Hold on, guys. Just for the nighttime part, I'm gonna go to sleep on the game. So then you guys will actually be able to see. I don't need the slime blocks anymore. I only needed one. Here we go. Let's go to bed quick. So you guys can actually see what I'm doing. I'm going to take off my glasses. That's why the glasses are way better to wear. Okay, go. let's go back to the game. So, we have all this set up right here. So, we're going to, uh, not a bed. We're going to add this big giant line of redstone. Which is going to equal to a button, and watch what the button does. No problem, see? So I'm going to pause it right here. You guys can look at it. I'll put something underneath so you guys can see where the redstone is. Flag. You can see through the piston. Okay, then. I want you to be able to see the redstone. And you guys can actually see where it is. Cause... So this is better now you guys can see. So Barely. but And no, it's not underneath the glass. It's above it. So just show, showing you guys right now. So this is showing you that there's redstone that goes down here. It touches this, which makes it go up. Then it'll keep on going over here. 
Oh, I could have just done this. Hold on. If you want to do that or just keep it like this, go ahead, but I'm going to do this. Because it'll be faster and I'll be able to work with it better. Well, it won't affect anything. And then just bring it up like this. I'm going to keep it like this for a little so you guys can see the parts that have just been made so you can make this elevator. And I'll show you this too. This, this button so you have it so you know. Remember, it's supposed to do that. So the next thing about this elevator, when making it, just add these four little prongs that come up like this, okay? Let me show you what it looks like. Now it looks like this, because see how the redstone plate is right there? I'm describing this so then I don't miss anything out. Sorry if you guys get annoyed that I'm describing it so much. It's for people that can't hardly understand the redstone concept, but if you already know and understand it, then just... Skip a little bit of the video if you already know it because I'm going to ramble about a lot of this stuff. So it's going to go, the redstone's going to come up here and link up. These four prongs are a big help during your redstone phase. So you're going to want to actually add anything you want on the sides because whatever you add, it's going to push up. Which is not bad. No, it's not bad. You can add a block right underneath the. Uh, where was it? So, see this? You can actually take this right here, add two blocks, let it touch, and watch what it does, okay? It's going to stick stick onto it, but don't worry, it'll go down. Watch. And it's going to run. See? No problem. So, add more of those if you want. Or if you don't, oh well. But if you do, it's way better because it'll help the elevator more. Okay. Because of me doing that, I'm going to pause a little and then you guys can see what I did. Okay, that's good enough. See these prongs? You don't want them getting stuck. Because watch what happens if they get stuck. This will be bad for your elevator if you had this happen. You, you do not want that happening. So you want to add... Four prong pieces that go even higher than those, and then you get this on all sides, right? So, after doing that, I'll just do this. Watch. It'll just go... Done. So, this is a good idea. You want to add on to the sides of it. So then, literally, all it does is just watch. Whoop! Just goes up, goes back down. No problem. Let me add some, uh, let me add these so they're way easier to climb up. You guys can add normal stairs, I just add those to make it look a little different. So then after adding that, you're going to want to add an actual structure to it. I'm just making, out of, making it out of metal to look nice, but... If you actually make it out, you can make it out of any material you want. I'm just making it out of metal so it looks better. This part's crucial because if you mess up, it doesn't work. Well, it's not too crucial, but... Basically, this little piece you see right here that I just built on, all you do is this. Watch. Just So we're just going to go in here, touch it, and then get launched up. And it launched me up pretty high. I'll show you how high it launches you. It launches you past the um, uh, piece you need to go to. So, Sorry about that part. That's where you have to add on. It's only meant for creative, okay, guys? See it launched me really high up? That's where your creative skills come in. Where you would actually add on to it. So, oops. Like what you have right here? Add another. I'm not lying. Add another story to it. Hold on. If you already have a three story building that's like let's see how high up it has to be. If you have a three if you have a three story building where it has two blocks for the like bottom like let's just say this is the dirt and you built a 
building where the floor was two blocks like high or something. Or you can just dig into the ground and do this. It's really effective and it's small too. Look how small this is. That's all it is, just that. I'm going to have to add on, which is going to make it a little big, guys. It takes up more space to do what I'm about to do to it. But I'll make it small as I can. So, since you have a third level now, you're able to sh uh, what I mess up on? That's my mess up. You're able to shoot up three levels. Problem is, when you fall, it hurts you a little bit. But if you're in creative and you just make it for creative purposes, then yeah, that's awesome. Go right ahead. Do what you want to do. So it's going to shoot you up three. You ready? One, two, three, and... You have to move... Okay. When using the elevator, if you want to get to the third level, you actually have to move... Let's see, where did I put my button? I put my button in the back. So when you're looking backwards, you have to move... Don't move forwards for a little bit. I'll show you what I mean. So, like, wait when it launches you up. Then you hit it right away. And then you land on the third level. But, for the second level, you guys are like, what the hell, dude? You're not... Even pause the video to show us, too. Ugh. Cow. Okay. So, I'll show you what I made. Just adding on. Just more levels. That's just a hole in it. Oops. Hold on, there's a hole. Oh, yeah, because that's where the button is, so... When doing this, I'll just show you what I made right here. It's all just regular levels with a hole in it. I'll show you the inside. I'll show you the inside right now, so... That's all it is, it's just extra added on. And then, if you want to get to a second level, here's when the hard part kind of comes in now. You have to add, I'm not lying, you have to add pieces on, that will actually work. So this, you want to add a little piece right there, and then, oops, hold on. And you go into the elevator now and clog it up a little bit. Which is going to suck, so... We're going to add one of those, and then add this, that has a little piece right there. That's to make that come down so you're able to use it as a stepping stone for the second level. Here we go, three. And you may get stuck in it, so don't get stuck in it. Three, two, one, go. Third level. Okay, let's go down. I don't know how to make an elevator that goes down slow. That's, that's the one that's not, that's like hard to do. So we're going to make this... A great um, uh, video by adding stuff you may use usually to make a elevator. So now we're gonna have to dig into this. Oh, it's a little big, guys. I guess. Oops, my bad. Takes a little bit of space up, but it's not too much added uh, added on, I guess. Okay, this right here is good. So then we're gonna want to add more pistons but as you're adding the pistons and if it doesn't line up correctly when the block shuts then you're gonna well when I mean the block like shuts it's where this thing up above I'm not gonna get too close to this um, uh, when it goes off so Cause I don't want it dragging me up and I'm showing you what it does see how that block appeared a little bit this small block appeared if it's too fast because you're being shot up to the third level and you're falling down to the second and then moving, then just mess with the pistons a little. Let's try it normal. You ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Second floor. I guess it works. You just have to run. Go I made it to the second floor just by um, uh, turning. But you're gonna have to run backwards, so you're gonna, so you're gonna basically go up, wait a little, and then run backwards. Which that is really cool. If you want to add on to it, then you can. You already know how to make it now, so that's good. I'll show you to, how to add things on to make it look nicer as an elevator and everything. This takes a little bit of space up, but it's not too bad. Since the elevator is so dark, you can actually add light to it. So let's see what I'll add. Um, uh, there we go, I got these blocks, they light up. 
Oh, but you guys probably don't have those. Um, the most original thing I think I could use is you guys can do this with actual uh, what do they call it? Um, glowstone. But I'm just using lights as a, an example because they're way they're kind of they're less bright, but they make it look actually really good in the inside. That's where my button is, so I can't put it there. We can take these lights and just. Oops, wrong thing. You just add these levers and then... Oh, I can't add one right there. Okay. I don't think it'll affect anything. Oh, it will, kind of. Please don't mess with that. Oh, it did. Shit. Fix it, guys. I got an idea too. Oh, ow. Um, we have to be cheap right now. There we go. I got an idea, guys. Since that lit up right there without messing with anything. Oops, it went down. We'll just add one in the middle. And then add a. Where's the other one? Boom. Add one in right here too. Boom. Got it. So that actually works, guys. It's really cool. It doesn't take up roughly about too much space. That's like the inside of your house if you want. It takes up not a lot of space either. If you had like a thick enough wall or if you were able to hide it, then yeah, that this is really cool to make. So this is what it does. Second floor, because I fell right away. Oh god, no, don't jump. So... Don't crouch either, because if you crouch and try to use it, it will not work. Oh, uh, where did I fall from? I hope I fell from the freaking third floor. Yee, stop bouncing. That was in the way. Okay, um... What would make this more better? Uh, I can make a way down, I guess. It doesn't mess with it, quote unquote. Uh, mm, nah, you guys can figure that part out yourself. See, we're gonna go to the third floor. Can we make it third, because I jumped, I, I ran right away. I just ran right off the bat. What happens if I actually run during it? Oh, don't run so fast, you're, um, uh, you get caught. In the inside. So, hit the button, wait a little. So you have to look backwards too. Hit the button, wait a little, and now, right away, just off the bat, run. If you don't run in time, you end up in the second floor. But if you can figure out your timing correctly, then you're good. Cause watch. Boom. Third floor, second floor. It works. Thanks for watching. Please check out my channel, and if you want. Please subscribe. I do not have my comments up yet, but I will fix that. Thanks for watching, guys. This is the first elevator I made in Minecraft. This has been Zach, and bye. Oh, wait. It's not bye yet. Now it's bye.